hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is miriam but you can call me mimi everybody does and i blog about natural hair lifestyle in canada and food so if this is your first time visiting my channel and these are topics that interest you please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like my videos because you know if you like my videos youtube will get to show you more of my videos and uh, it will help me grow so guys please like my videos and subscribe to my channel and um yeah so let's get right into it today's video is going to be very very quick it's going to be an unboxing video guys so um before i go into what i'm unboxing about i just want to um talk a, talk a little bit about the product i just purchased um first of all disclaimer this is not a promo video i'm just i just felt like i should do this video because i don't think i've done an unboxing video before no i haven't this is the first one yay okay so um uh, when you're approaching a certain age when you've crossed into your 30s or even from your mid or late 20s it's important to start to pay very specific attention to your skincare routine especially your facial um care your facial care routine and this is because um as we tend to get older we tend to start to have like fine lines um, wrinkle lines and signs of aging even sagging skin and these are things that we do not want so it's very important to start to tackle it early and personally my facial routine is basically i just at night i wash my face with my facial soap i use um i can't remember really my facial soap right now um probably talk about i'll mention it later i can't remember right now so i basically just wash my face and then maybe like twice a week i scrub so on the days i don't scrub like on a very good day i just wash my face and then i um tone my face so i use a toner um, my toner right now is ole i use a cutting board um that soak it in the toner and then cleanse my face like tone my face or clean my face and then i use my mush i use my moisturizer and i go to bed and that's it but i want to take my facial routine up a notch just to make sure my skin stays healthy and i don't start to have like wrinkles or lines on my face that make you look older just to make sure this face still looks you know baby girlish even if i turn 40 or 50. okay guys so that being said that lets me doing some research and looking into what people are talking about and comments and products and i finally tied it down to this so if you know i don't know if you know about this product they are the makers of the abnormal um the original oh, is it original the ordinary the ordinary beauty line and i like them because they are very unique and i like things that are very unique and i love the i love the aesthetics of their brand it's just black and white it's just simple and it just when i saw it like the, i've seen it so many times i've seen so many videos about it this is not the first time i'm hearing about it i've seen lots of videos and recently my friend wendy um she's also a youtuber she did a video on the ordinary product and i was like hmm i'm hearing so much about this product let me look into it again and see if there's anything i would like to buy and so when i started looking into um improving my facial routine i decided to now get some of their products so i'm just going to unbox this very quickly guys as you can see i haven't even opened it but i know what is inside because i place the order myself so i'm just going to quickly open this Can you guys see so i ordered 200 percent organic cold press rose hip seed oil so for this one what how i intend to use this i want to start using this on my max facial mask 
I wanted to buy their max, but I actually didn't buy it because once the first of all it has salicylic acid and second of all of the videos I saw everybody complain about how their skin was burning when they use it and I don't want to experience that. So I'm going to use max. So um, the max I'm using is um, the Aztec mask. I have a video where I've used it on my hair before and I use the remaining max on my face. So that is the max I'm going to use. It's a bentonite clay. I'm basically going to like add some drops of this so I'll basically just scoop some maybe like one or one tablespoon of the max in the bowl and um, add maybe like a teaspoon of um, apple cider vinegar and a few drops of this mix 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 apply it on my face and I'm going to do that maybe three times a week so that's why I got this rosehip oil rosehip oil is amazing for the skin it helps to rejuvenate your skin keeps your skin looking younger and so on so that's why i got this you can look more into rosy oil and i also got this niacinamide 10 percent and zinc one percent guys who else agrees that this product sometimes can get really confusing you feel like you're back in chemistry in school studying chemistry because there's a lot of this and 10 percent of this five percent of this this acid that acid oh don't use this one with this one use this one at night use one at day use this one before this oh my god i saw him by now at some point the first time i said looking into this i was like man i can't deal and i just shut my system down but after all the reviews I've seen about them, I'm like, okay, let me just give it another try and just try to look into it and just have patience to just understand what they're talking about. Guys, this is a lot of studying and research. And I feel like the way it's formulated, if you use the wrong products at the same time, you might end up doing yourself more harm than good. So before you go into using the ordinary products, I suggest you do tons of research you can even ask them questions and the best thing about them is that if you go to their website they have a place where you can um like what how was the word again like create your own routine yeah so they'll ask the questions like what kind of skin do you have what kind of issues are you trying to tackle what's your age range and all that so by the time you answer all those questions they now give you a list of products that you should be using based on your answers so if you don't want to go into researching so much on this you can try that method just go to their website and just uh, i think it's build my routine or build a routine or something like that but you see it on their website so this niacinamide i got this to be using um so this is vitamin c it's ascorbic acid with alpha eight percent with alpha about ten two percent so much chemistry so i got this to use alternatively i'll use this one today i'll use this one tomorrow just so i'll alternate between these two and i'll always use them in the morning and basically the way i want to use them is after washing my face i don't tone my face in the morning i, will, I only use my toners at night so after washing my face i'll make sure my face is very very dry after no water on your face guys they always they insist do not leave water on your face because especially this um, vitamin c can be very unstable so you don't want to use this um and it's very very unstable in water also so you want to make sure your face is dry before you apply this this one is more stable so i'm going to use them interchangeably um so like i said after washing my face just like a few drops of this on my face before i use my facial cream and that's it same thing for this one so i can use this one today and use this one tomorrow they are both very very efficient and effective for tackling um um signs of aging wrinkles sagging skin and the also vitamin c is amazing in making your skin glow and look younger win 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 then um retinol 0.5 percent in squalane so guys I, to, I have never even heard about squalane before like what is what the hell is squalane so i just um read about it it's basically like an oil based formula that is also really great for keeping your skin healthy and clean and blah 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 and retinol is 
fantastic for tackling signs of aging signs of wrinkles signs of fine lines and i think some people even t use it to treat act to treat acne yeah because I, I see a lot i saw a lot of reviews where people had like acne spots on their faces so you know like when you have blackheads and acne and you like press it and then it leaves like a spot on your face i saw a lot of reviews from people that swear by it and say that retinol will help them in clearing those acne spots so this um the ordinary retinol um in squalene starts at 0.2 percent 0.5 percent and one percent based on my research you're advised that if you have never used retinol before you should start from the 0.2 percent one which is this one with the least strength start from there and build your tolerance then after you finish using a bottle of this you can now maybe next time go for the 0.5 percent and if you're confident enough and <laughs> you're willing to explore further when you're done with the 0.5 percent you can now advance to the one percent squalene personally i don't know if i want to use the one percent because i feel like it might be a lot and i didn't really want to use the 0 0.2 percent i've never used retinol honestly but for some reason i just wanted to start with the 0 0.5 percent fingers crossed the way i'm going to use this is i'm this is for night strictly strictly for night so at night after i wash my face and i tone my face has to dry off of course so this one also has to be applied on dry skin so my face has to dry off thoroughly and then i will apply a few drops of this massage it lovingly into my face and then apply a moisturizing night cream since i'm just starting out on this because i saw um, a lot of people use this every day but since i'm just starting out and since i'm going for the 0.5 percent i would most likely do this apply this three times a week for starters and then see how my skin responds to it and probably with time i can now start making it every night but for now and um, so the next month i will just be using this only three times a week i am so excited to see what my face will look like after using after i'm done with this set that i just got i am so so excited to see okay so that's it i don't think there's anything else so these are all the things i got i'm really really excited about using retinol because i've heard so much so 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 much about retinol and vitamin c i've used vitamin c before but not in this concentration and not in this formula so i'm excited to see what this would do to my skin so i've never heard about niacinamide until now so also looking forward to using this too i've used rose hip, rose hip oil i actually really use it for my hair i just add it to my hair oil and all that but this one is 100 percent organic cold press i don't think anyone i've used will probably be this concentrated so i'm excited about using this too so guys these are the four products i got from the ordinary beauty brand from this this cm this 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 cm i don't know i am super duper 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 excited i'm going to start using the retinol tonight and then i'm going to start using i'll start with the vitamin c tomorrow then next tomorrow i'm going to use niacinamide i can't wait I think I'm going to, going to probably like take before pictures of my face before I start this treatment. So once I'm done with this, like once these bottles are done, I'll now like maybe like take an after picture to see if there's any difference. A lot of people talked about not seeing differences after using this, but I'm very, very positive that I'm going to see difference. I really I actually do not even have like wrinkles or signs of aging yet or sagging like but you know how these things just creep up on you like you might just be so um you might just be feeling very confident that like, oh i still look really good and then boom overnight you have wrinkles i don't want that kind of thing to happen to me guys so i'm just trying to start this early and i'll advise if you're um between 26 if you're from 26 um well 26 is quite maybe like mm -hmm. Let me just say 28 from 27 28 upwards i think it's time to like gradually start paying more attention to your facial skin 
so guys that's it for my video that's my unboxing video and um, i hope you guys enjoyed it if you use any of these products please let me know if i miss anything um if you have any more pointers because i am so new at this i will really appreciate any more advices you guys may have so please drop your comments if there are any other ordinary products you recommend please drop drop your comment also i'll be so excited to read them and now respond to all the comments so guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you at the next one and once again don't forget if you're new subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe what are you waiting for please subscribe subscribe help a sister grow and i'll see you guys in the next one love you bye